I'm now going to demonstrate the practical application of near-field communications technology with my home automation system. Here's my alarm panel. Attached to the alarm panel door on the back side is an NFC chip. See around me, the lights are turned on. What I'm going to do now is use my phone to set off a series of events. That sound you just heard was the phone processing the tag successfully. In addition, you heard the alarm chirp, which was one of the first events. Secondly, the lights turned off. And lastly, the garage door opened. The idea here is to take a bunch of things and put them together so that, from a convenience standpoint, they all process at the same time. In addition, I can also set the system up to turn off my audio video system and adjust the thermostat to save energy. If I were to go out the front door instead of the garage door, I'd simply scan the tag hidden near the front door. The alarm has been set and the lights have been turned off. Now I can leave. Next, I'm going to demonstrate arriving home from a walk. So instead of having to dig keys out of my pocket, like that, and going to the front door, or opening up my keypad, and punching in a key code to open the garage door, which that thing never works anyway, I can simply take my phone out and hold it up to the keypad and open the garage door. In addition, the alarm is turned off, and if it were dark, lights inside my house would have been turned on so it was easy to see when I walked in the door. Here, we've arrived home by car. The garage door was opened with, from within the car. So as an added security precaution, instead of disarming the alarm when the garage door opens, I want to scan an NFC tag instead. So once we get inside the garage, we walk up to our tag here, and we scan. Once the tag is scanned, the alarm is disabled, and if it were after dark, a light would be turned on inside the house. Next, we'll look at the home automation system from a logical perspective. How does the information flow? First, the cell phone sends a signal to the wireless network in the home. From there, it flows to the home automation server. The home automation server then sends its signals to the lighting subsystem, the control for the garage door, the security system, and if I wanted to, the HVAC, which is the air conditioner, or the audio video receiver. I'm now going to show you what it took to set up the automation between my cell phone and my home automation system. Currently on the screen you're seeing a program called Droid It Screen that is doing a screen mirroring of my cell phone so that I can show you what I did. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the tag writing program called Tag Stand. A recently written tag down at the bottom there, there's a tag that I set up to trigger my automation system. It's called Tasker Arm Away. So literally, this is what I wrote to the tag, that information, that text in the green box there, tasker colon arm away. And that uh, was programmed to the tag with this application. Next, I'm going to show you the uh, automation program on the cell phone. It's called tasker. Now, uh, you can see there on the screen, arm away. That is a macro that I've written within tasker that performs the steps that I want the, f the phone to execute when it sees the tag arm away when the NFC processing in the phone is activated. So we'll take a look at the detail of that arm away program. The first thing that's set up is uh, HTTP post which essentially is some data elements within uh, a URL. I have the IP address, I have the path which is actually on the automation server so in this case it's CMLIB user NFC, so that's the place that I've stored the macro that I'm going to execute on my automation server. And then finally what I have is the command that I'm executing called command alarm toggle. I also have set up for debugging purposes on my phone a notify. So whenever this processes properly it actually throws up a little dialog box text screen that says it worked, flashes the LED, lastly when the URL executes it actually sends this command to the automation server. So the combination of these pieces are what 
makes it possible for my cell phone using the NFC chip to trigger an event on my automation system. Next I'm going to look at the macro code that was necessary to execute the message that it received from the cell phone over my home network and into my home automation system. This macro text here, uh, in this case we'll focus on the if statement, basically it's looking to see if it received a command and if it didn't and something came through that didn't recognize it, it would generate a, a log. Otherwise, go ahead and process the message that it receives. Next, we'll look at the administrative piece of this setup. In this case, what happens is I have to set up a trigger that activates whenever this particular variable, NFC, is changed within my system. So what happens is the cell phone scans the tag, the cell phone then sends a, a URL message through my wireless network to my automation system and writes a value in the variable NFC. So the action that it takes is uh, first of all it loads up and, and take, gets a bunch of uh, environment variables for different subsystems. Uh, one of them is the NFC field itself, another, word, another one is the lighting, a uh, couple of different types of lighting system. It also gets the alarm state. And then what it does is it looks to see if I've received an actual command, in this case alarm toggle, and then if the system value for the alarm state is false, it goes ahead and triggers activating the alarm and turns off the, the lights in the house. If the alarm is already set, then it sends the pin to the alarm system and then sends the disarm command. The alarm cannot be disarmed without having the pin code. And that's the end of the processing on the uh, automation side.